Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fourth bridge, the rail bridge, of course. And this is what I'm concentrating on this morning. Very cold this morning, feel it on my hands, getting numb. But yes, sunrise is just about to happen in about 10 minutes away. I have got a time lapse on the go for this location. So let's get going and let's start shooting. Welcome folks and welcome to the fourth rail bridge this morning. What a glorious morning hopefully it is going to be because look at the colours coming through the sky already. Um, I have shot this many times before, I just live around the corner from this. Um, takes me literally about 15 minutes to get here. I should really concentrate on this location more because it's just down the road from me. But the Highlands of Scotland at the minute is just a downpour. Um, it's delaying my time getting in there for what I really want to show you because I've got some new locations in Glencoe to show you as well. But before we go there into the Highlands, look at that magnificent piece of engineering opened by Queen Victoria. Cantilever Bridge, the rail bridge. Hopefully this morning I can uh, just do it justice and uh, capture some awesome awesome images for you guys sitting at home watching this episode so let's get going and let's start shooting some images speak to you in a minute welcome back folks so my camera is just down on the edge here just right next to an anchor point now what I'm doing is uh, use my foreground the water just be before the bridge I am getting a slight reflection but I'm also incorporating the little like, anchor points right on the edge of the pier here uh, a bit of common sense with this one really the ground is very very slippery on this uh, location sorry I'm silhouetting myself there but uh, got my waders on I am getting in the water just a touch and I'm moving down as the tide is going out now the Sun is just coming up just behind me and it's turning out absolutely beautiful really is and uh, hopefully I am doing this place justice this morning so what I'm doing Wait for that sunrise, hopefully nice, some nice colours are going to come through. Then I'm going to push round to the other side on the Kingdom of Fife and then show you another location across there, which I've shot before, but I've never, never vlogged it. So, quite simple with this one, really. A 0.6 grad for that sky because it's super, super bright. And uh, I might be doing a focus stack on this one because they are su super, super close, these little... Uh, pins here you can see which they tie the boats down to and uh, that is my foreground mid ground and then the background all the way across to the Kingdom of Fife but beautiful this morning quite simple really I've been sh slowing it down to one second six seconds ten seconds even a six of a second with the waves like crashing in a bit when the boats have been coming in very very simple this one just gonna swing you around to give you a view back of my camera there we go so here we go plain and simple on that one so yeah f14 for that shot 1.6 seconds iso 100 and that is what i'm shooting very very simple it's there right in front of you folks this location you just got to play around find some foreground and hopefully some nice colors in the sky but just look at that just coming up now. Hopefully I might get a nice uh, sun burst, sun star come out. But I've got a funny feeling that's coming over way over in that behind the pillar here. So we're just gonna push down further and further down as the tide goes out. Okay folks, nice and simple for this shot. I've put a six stop on, uh, 0.6 grad for the sky, very, very bright. Uh, I've put, put my camera really low to the water, so I'm not getting a reflection, but I'm getting a nice shadow effect of the actual bridge itself. Uh, one thing on opening your lens up here, you will get that parallax effect if you're not too careful of the, the pillars and they start to lean in. So you just warn you on this location if you are shooting here, uh, just be careful when you're going really, really wide angle. Now that sun is just coming up. 
hopefully I'm uh, gonna angle this so I can capture that sunburst coming up is it gonna be a big enough white angle on that oh it might just be so the uh, the Sun is just making an appearance over that horizon there and it's turning out quite a nice sun star. Hopefully, I can uh, capture that as it's coming over. For this shot, I'm out. Uh, all the way up at f18 30 second exposure on this hopefully it's going to bring out that uh, sun star quite nicely on that long exposure and hopefully not too much uh, overexposed on the right hand of the image but it's lighting up the pillars quite nicely actually and 30 seconds just to smooth this off should turn out really really nice we'll see let's have a look Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. Right, okay, I'm going to drop that down to F16 now. Okay, let's uh, back up, get to the other side. See you there. to North Queens Ferry. Well it looks like it's a completely different day but believe me it's the same day this morning I was over the back there on the south side in South Queens Ferry capturing the sunrise looking at the bridge. Pushed to the northern side North Queens Ferry like I just said and uh, hopefully uh, do this place justice again because I really want to show you this place here where you've got you can incorporate a bit of foreground to it like your, your train wheels anchor right behind me and another train wheel. I'm framing it up so I've got this uh, anchor and this train wheel here on this side. Long exposure, 1 minute 10 seconds on this one, 10 stop in and uh, 0.3 grad in just to darken those moves in the sky. Now before we go into photography and wait for that tide to come in because I really want uh, the water surrounding this so it's just rising out the water. and should be turning out quite nice I think so before we go into that well I'm not a big big youtuber uh, I do bang out quite a bit of content now and again uh, especially in the Highlands of Scotland a bit of international as well but like I said I'm not a big youtuber and uh, I do get collaboration um, requests now some of them are quite funny now mattresses being one of them what the hell has that got to do with the photography? If you want to send me a collaboration, something, send me something to do with photography. The next one is jewellery boxes. Makeup. Now that's a funny one, isn't it? You can just imagine me doing a vlog with uh, nice lipstick on, rosy red cheeks, a bit of eyeliner. Yes. So if you're going to send me a collaboration, uh, send a decent one through where I can get it across to the people you back at home sat in front of your sofa watching this or on your mobile phones as you do so yeah um, here we are North Queensferry what I'm after particularly is the water just coming in just surrounding the wheels the anchor um, I will have my brolly up because it's all about protecting the front of the lens I do not want any rain spots on uh, make life harder in uh, Lightroom trying to remove them all so I will be holding here by Brolly to stop the rain spots on the actual face of the uh, the lens right tides nearly coming in and uh, I'll speak to you when it does bye for now
Okie dokie, that is me finished here at the rail bridge now folks obviously you see the anchor there just getting covered off by the water there getting covered over uh, I'm not going to spend too much time waffling on here because I, uh, I, I do need to make my way back to the shore because I'm slowly slowly getting cut off now so I've just got to get myself back to the car so um, yeah this location make sure you get your, your, your timings right with the tide obviously better if you want to photograph that anchor and those train wheels down here um, come before the tide comes in so when the tide is out come here get your composition and just wait for that water just to roll in we've got about five to ten minutes with the actual uh, tide rolling in to capture that frame just there you ain't got long you really haven't got long uh, yeah uh, so that's gonna make a nice black and white I think that one nice fine art uh, yeah so uh, Highlands of Scotland that's where I'm heading now so uh, hit that like subscribe and uh, I'll see you very soon in the Highlands of Scotland bye for now